And this is a Let's go back to 40 meters. Now this is uh, with the counterpoise and the choke. SWRs 1.3, output spot 5 watts. Let's go back to paddle mode. Seems to be well behaved now. Um, we'll see if it's rig dependent. Oh, there it is. There's the there's the thing again. Sort of the pops. It seems to be more present on 40 meters than it is on the other bands. Let's go to 30 meters. Well, maybe not. It's still present there on 30 meters. Maybe it's um, less present on 20 meters. We'll see if it's rig dependent. We'll see if another rig, oh, there's the pop again. We'll see if uh, another rig, um, another radio will exhibit the same behavior. Now we're back. Um, this time we have a Elecraft K1 and there are no speaker pops coming out of the speaker this time. So that may just be an artifact of the speaker that's uh, plugged into the LNR MTR4B. Um, this is a totally clean speaker output here on the, on the Elecraft. Uh, well, well, we'll check the SWR right now. We're at 7.060. SWR is 1.1. .1. Power is five five watts. And it's totally clean. Let's change bands. We're on thirty meters now. Let's go to one thirteen. Ten one ten point one one three. Let's check the SWR. Uh, SWR is 1.1. Power is 5, 5 watts. So it's consistent with the SWR bridge of the LNR MTR4B. Let's go to 20 meters. It's quieter, but that's just the, the noise, the background noise is quieter. It's a higher band. We're at 14.013. We'll check SWR here too. Also 1.1. Well, that, that's the K1. I 
put the K1 into tune mode and uh, 15 meters is not really resonant on this trapped antenna and the SWR was 2.4 but the internal tuner tuned it to 1.0 so not a problem for the Elcraft K1 with the internal tuner and this is a four band K1 it has 40, 30, 20 and 15 Uh, let's try yet a different radio. This is an Elcraft KX2 to see what kind of RFI we might have in the band. And this looks like normal band noise to me. Sounds like normal band noise to me. 10.116. Let's go to 40 meters. Now this is 40 meters, 7.065, see if you can see that on the camera, probably can't see it with the reflection. But it's normal band noise. Let's go to 20 meters, the band noise is quieter, and then no speaker. Uh, splatter. Maybe Elcraft just does a better job of uh, RFI filtering. I don't know. That's speculation on my part. ATU is on bypass. SWR is 1.0. Well, it's well behaved. Well, I'm uh, back to an earbud and I'm now recording the, the audio of what the earbud is hearing by using this tape recorder. And I'm still hearing the, the pops in the speaker circuit, which I don't hear on the Elecraft radios. So, uh, this might be something that's uh, that's just internal to the LNR uh, in terms of uh, artifacts in the speaker circuit, and it's not necessarily RFI getting into the into the radio. So I'm recording about 54 seconds of audio now. I'm on 40 meters. But for the most part, it's quiet. It's just every once in a while, you would hear the speaker pops. Right now, it's behaving well. Let's change bands. I heard it when I switched bands. It's still there. You can hear it. This is 20 meters. Well, that's that. Um, I'll get back to you on the next video.